Now since the Tizen Studio is installed now, we I can show you how to create a Tizen Studio application. So you click on File, you hit New, click on New Tizen Project, and then select a sample as this one for television, and then click on Next and select TVs. So we had installed this extension for the TV, Samsung TV, you can select that. You can also build it for wearables and mobiles as well using this, but uh, let's go with the TV for now. And then you click on the CSS, HTML and JavaScript. You can also build in C and C++ if you, if you are, are familiar with that, but let's choose, let's go with this one. So hit next. And now you can see that it's creating uh, an application. click on next and just give it a name and hit finish and there you go it's created this application you've already got some JavaScript you can delete this JavaScript if you like you can delete this CSS if you like and put your own index.html JavaScript and CSS okay now if I want to see if I want to look at it uh, on the terminal all I have to do is just do a right click and build projects you can see at the bottom it's built and now I can go ahead and click on run run as TV web simulator application Samsung TV and if I click on that what this is going to do is this is going to open the simulator for us so there you go so you can see now that you've got the simulator opened over here and you've got the uh, analog watch that's a uh, by default it's a by default uh, application that comes up when you have created this and then you can write whatever JavaScript you want so if I go ahead and change things over here let me close this similar you can also switch off like this and you can have multiple applications and I can say my first TV application okay you just write over here and then save it and then same thing you need to do click on this project right click build and then you do the right click again and run as the TV simulator so once you do that it's going to open up the TV simulator for you there you go here it is and now you can see that this has changed it's my first TV application Similarly, you can change the CSS, the JavaScript, all of that. So it's pretty simple. It's, it's pretty useful. In fact, you can also build your TV application in React. So you can use Webpack and Babel to bundle your application and, uh, and Babel to convert it into a JavaScript that all modern, all modern browsers can understand. You can actually you go ahead and build that and use that JavaScript, uh, the compiled one, the build one over here and still be able to develop your TV application in React. Okay. All right. So I hope you did like the video. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment box below. And do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And uh, please do follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Coditech. And follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. Alright, so I'm going to see you in the next video. Until then, thank you. Bye-bye.